welcome and thank you for joining me here on day 11 in our 30 day 10 minutes workout challenge today's session we're going to do a high intensity interval training session also called hit it's going to be like this we're going to do one minute of a warm-up then we have three different kinds of supersets in each superset we have two different kind of exercises so for example the first superset we are going to do a high knee and then we're going to go straight on for the 30 seconds to 30 seconds of squat and we're going to alternative between those two exercises for three rounds then we have just a little bit of a break where i will show you the next two exercises in the next superset so by the end of this session we have been working 10 minutes and we have worked our entire body boosting on metabolism and uh, we are just gonna hit it hard so uh, no more talking let's go and let's work out we are ready so starting out by tapping in front of us swinging our arms and getting a little bit up on our toes reaching up for the ceiling and we are gonna keep that chest up and our chin in so we're gonna step out to the side and leaning from one side to the other one try to reach up with your arms so going up above shoulder level and we are engaging our core muscle and our pelvic floor now we're gonna go straight up with what i'm crossing a little bit over getting a nice stretch and every time we are touching the floor with that foot we're gonna squeeze our glute muscle opening up keep going but put that arm in front of you doing a rotation and warming up your spine so let's go for another eight and seven six and five squeezing and three two and one reaching up for the ceiling lifting one leg up at the time squeezing that glute area opening up in our hips so moving further up so put that leg behind with a straight knee arms are coming forward and pushing back and you are just going to feel your muscle between your shoulder blades by now as you're moving your arms backwards and we are going for another four and three keep the alignment two and keep it here and opening up moving knee in front of us and swinging those arms keep the straight alignment and we are gonna kick that buttock so up and reaching up as we go we are opening up in our ankle joints and we will be doing this for another four and three and two and getting into center and we are re reaching forward and reaching up forward and straight up for another four and three and two up we go and another one yep that's it hopefully you warmed up or else you just gotta pause this session and then you'll come back if you need a little bit more extra warm-up so the first superset we are gonna go for the high knees for 30 seconds straight on to the 30 second squat doing that for three rounds and then we have a short break so let's put the time on for the 30 30 do remember there's no break break in between those two exercises in the superset counting down here from 10 ready to do the high knees reminding yourself you're only working 30 seconds at the time two and one so knees are coming up arms are coming up we are just doing alignment check here so chest is lifted engage your core muscle pelvic floor and keep that chin in moving our arms and let's go for another 10 seconds and we are gonna go straight into that squat so keep an eye on the time two and one squatting squeezing our glute without pushing our hips forward so stopping up here squeezing not pushing further up we go unlock knees arms are coming forward and back keeping that chest up 
Feel the muscle along your spine, squeezing every single fiber in your body, getting ready for the high knees. So let's go straight up to those knees and just do those short, fast breathing. Yeah, keep it going. And you are gonna go for another 10 seconds. Yep, so I'm back in and keep those arms up, getting shorter breath, ready for the squat. Two and one, squeezing and avoid pushing that hip forward up to a straight position. And as we are squeezing our glute muscle, we are helping along with our pelvic floor, squeezing lifting up and five seconds for the third and final round for the high knees so one of each kicking that pulse lifting those knees up you can always go here instead better late than never to tell about that and 15 seconds Keep moving, eight seconds to our final squat. Pushing yourself, two, one. So if you used to work out for hours and hours, then it is a bit of a challenge for the mental mindset because you are gonna kick off a lot more intensity working for a shorter period of time. 10 seconds, getting ready for just a little bit of a break here. Very good. So we are, you're getting some water and I'm gonna show you the next two exercises, which is gonna be a burpee, stepping out back into center. And then when we almost done with the 30 seconds, stay put down here and we're squatting, dipping that toe out. So let's do that straight on. So getting ready to go down for the push-up and not wasting any time. Counting down here from 10, ready for the burpee. So keep that distance between your feet, it makes it much more easy. So up we go, we know that we're only working 30 seconds, so keep it intense, squeezing your core muscle, straight alignment, feet are coming out, hopping up again, so close, five seconds, getting ready to stay put down, up and into that push up, tapping, if it's way enough doing ordinary push-up, you just go ahead and do that. And of course you can do this on your knees. You might want to step out with your knee. Pushing for another 10 seconds. Starting the burpee from down here. In four seconds. And here we are, straight into that burpee. No time to waste. Inhale. Exhale, stepping out, keeping that plank position, not high extension in your lower back. Reaching up, straight out again. Keep moving, two, one, push up. Feel your heart beating all the way down. So mind the quality. Better going down on your knees and get the full range of motion instead of just staying up here. 10 more seconds. Starting the burpee. Up we go. Let's go. 
This is the final one of each of these. And we only have one super set to go. Squeezing. Inhale. Exhale. Tight. Nice. Abs. Push up. Elbows in. No locked elbows. Slowly down. And it can be kind of challenging because your heart is beating like a crazy and then you need to do the strength. But we can do it only five more seconds and a short break. Yep, beautiful. So grab a short, just a little bit of water while I show you the last superset. The last superset, we are gonna go with a plank, split up out here and in, and down here, where we're gonna do a back extension, but lifting those knees up, getting a squeeze in a glute muscle. So using both back muscle and our glute muscle. We are ready for the last superset. Keep in mind you're not working for that long, but you're working intense as intense as possible and still looking after for yourself. 10 seconds, staying down in that plank position. So we are ready. Opening up. So 30 seconds here. Squeezing, inhaling, and exhaling. Nice, tight core. And keep that chest upwards and looking a little bit forward so you have the straight plank position. Four seconds, two, and up for that back extension and bending our knees. And as we go up, squeezing our glute muscle so we can feel it in both along the spine and in our butt. Up we go, looking down, five seconds to straight plank split up here. Second round, in our final block. Keep it going. I know you can do it. You know most of the time it starts up here. Pushing, pushing, thinking I can do this. And it's okay to be short of breath. As long as you don't feel dizzy. Squeezing. Keep it up. Two, one. Coming back down and get those knees up. Slowly down again, inhale and exhale. Squeezing, 10 more seconds. And then one more of each. Feel the glute muscle coming back up on our arms. Final round of the plank split hop. So feel that squeeze. Imagine you're doing this with no top on. So keep that area nice and tight. And remind yourself every time you get short of breath, you are burning even more calories after the workout has done, been completed. Four. Yes. And up we go. Final exercise, lifting up your knees, squeezing, feeling uncomfortable in your lower back. You can do this with straight knees instead, but try to engage your core muscle as the first solution. Inhale and exhale. Oops, straighten those legs. Two, one, and yes, we did it. Grab some water, and you've been doing 
great the best you could i'm sure and hopefully your challenge yesterday went well and of course i have a new challenge for you to do during the day maybe tomorrow and that is to go there and look in the mirror and find your favorite spot on your body and maybe you can find more than one but look at it appreciating it instead of always let your eyes seek for the part you're not very satisfied with so changing that mindset about your body it's there and it's working with you if you allow it to so find that favorite spot on your body and i will look forward to see you tomorrow so take good care we are looking into doing a workout tomorrow of course on day 12 so take good care bye